The number you have dialed has been changed. All right, Plus Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to install the uh, satellite tracking software called Orbitron on a Windows computer. Now, we're going to be using this for NOAA satellites because we're going to have this set up to use with SDR Sharp DDE plugin, but uh, that'll be in another video. So I'm trying to break this up to uh, make it a little bit easier for people to get this up and running. We're going to go to the following website here and we're just going to download this. And it's a small file as you can see. Then we're just going to go ahead and run this guy. Then it's going to install and we're just going to let that do it. You can select whatever you want here. And we'll just let it install, and we're just going to go ahead and launch it. Now, since this is a new install, we need to update the uh, TLE. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. So now that this is up, we're just going to click on this guy here. And we're just going to let this run and update. And like I said, we're going to change the list over here for NOAA satellites. Now you can change this to whatever you want, but we're just going to do it for NOAA. And we have some other options here, and we can be notified when a satellite is active over our location. So we're going to select that guy. And let's see here if there's any other that we might want to do and we'll just click apply and OK all right so now it's saying our location is somewhere over in here and that's why it uh, made that noise because the satellite is in with uh, contact of our location now what we can do is change out the uh, TLE for NOAA so we're going to click on load TLE then we're going to select NOAA click open and here we go so now what we can do is click NOAA 15 18 19 and that's all the ones we want if we come down here we can change this from five minutes to a second if you want we have some other options here you could put in your location here you could just put in your grid and stuff and it'll pretty much populate right up to wherever you may live we have some other settings here And this is where we will be making some uh, changes to make this work with SDR Sharp. But uh, like I said, that's going to be another video because we need to edit the file in order to do that. I just wanted to do this video to break it down a little bit on how just to install and do a basic setup to uh, track NOAA satellites. Now we can add other ones in here if we want to do amateur. So now we are looking at amateur radio but like I said we just want to do NOAA. So we'll just move back over and just select the ones that we want to track. Then we could just go over here and double click on them then to highlight each one. That's pretty much it. Uh, I'll throw a link in the description for this. And uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one.